boggles my mind. We've Okay, here we go. All right, folks, it's time for Random Rush. You know what that means? I listen to Rush Limbaugh for 60 seconds. Randomly respond in 90. It is now 1.10 p.m. East Coast time. This is something I never thought would happen. And the response we get from everybody, we're adults. I had a, 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 a conversation with a friend of mine at the golf course last week. See, I've read your latest book. So what? You? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 love, I think it's a great read. I said, You're, it's written for 10 to 13-year-olds. It's a great read. He said, I was floored. Um, he got the book for his grandkids and so forth, and I signed a couple of them. I had no idea he was going to read them. We're finding a lot of adults read these books and are learning things they didn't know, which to me is instructive. I mean, we're talking people anywhere from in their 40s to 70 who are reading my little history books, who are reading things first about the Pilgrims, now to the Boston Tea Party, and people in it that they didn't know because even they weren't taught. And then, you know, doing the research and the history to come up with this has is, is, is been fun and rewarding. But the whole thing, I just, I, you know, I don't know how to thank you. And uh, it, people. It... So there's uh, Rush Limbaugh talking about his uh, kid's book, Rush Revere and the First Patriots and Rush Revere and the Brave Pilgrims. <laughs> Time travel adventures with exceptional Americans. He was uh, nominated uh, as Author of the Year, finalist by the Children's Book Council. And uh, the funny part about this, of course, is that I I am not at all shocked that this book, written for 10-year-olds, is consumed by by the adults that listen to Rush Limbaugh. In fact, I would imagine that it is age-appropriate reading. For most of the people who listen to Rush Limbaugh, uh, this is uh, 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 in the book. Apparently, Rush explains how America was a Christian nation, and well, they well they own slaves. In fact, listen to this is a soundboard. I think here. Soundboard. You got me going here. Yep. Oh, I. Own slaves. <laughs> I do have someone who can vouch for me. My horse. <laughs> oh my God, this is great. This is deep. And he gave me a special necklace. <laughs> oh my God. With that in the DR. <laughs> Excuse me, I um May have sampled some beans earlier. And well, let's just say I'll have plenty of gas. <laughs> this is a soundboard. Is there more, please? Is, there more? is that considered offensive? <laughs> Since you're the star quarterback and I'm the most popular girl in school. Seriously, the 1700s called. They want their clothes back. (laughs) There you go. Just a couple of choice lines from Rush Limbaugh's book, age appropriate for even the oldest of Rush's listeners. You know what that reminds me of? I forget in which one, but I think there was some Al Franken book where he he dug up a blurb that was on a Pat Robertson book from the 80s, and the blurb was... I hardly ever read or even much less finish a book. I finished this one. <laughs> <laughs> the best blurb ever. <laughs> 